how we get to this bulletin in Afghanistan where the security situation is on a knife edge with bomb attacks in the capital Kabul. At least four people were killed after militants attacked the home of the Afghan Defense Minister in Kabul. Bismillah Khan Mohammadi was not at home as gunmen detonated a car bomb and an explosion near a facility of Afghanistan's main security agency in the capital has wounded two civilians and a security official. There has been no claim there has been no one claiming responsibility for the attacks, but they come as the Taliban steps up the campaign to defeat the US backed government as US led foreign forces complete their withdrawal after twenty years of war. Fighting has been particularly heavy around the city of Herat, near the western border with Iran, and Lashak, Gaur, and Kandahar in the south. We have the authorities and we have the capabilities, where and when feasible, to assist the Afghan forces uh, in the field through airstrikes. And we have acknowledged that we, we have and continue to conduct airstrikes in their support. I will not get into a rules of engagement discussion here from the podium about, um, about how those decisions are specifically made under what battlefield conditions, uh, but suffice it to say that those strikes continue to assist our Afghan partners as they continue to try to check Taliban advances. This is an Afghan military effort that we are supporting where and when feasible with airstrikes where and when feasible. It is not a U.S. military strategy. And this is, being, this is a really important point. This is their country to defend. This is their military to fight with. Uh, and they're doing that. And where and when we, we can help them, we're gonna, we're gonna, we have the authorities and the capabilities to do that. And a rice correspondent, Tam Sanktajo, has been monitoring events in Afghanistan, and he joins us now. Tam, good to have you. What can we read into the attacks in Kabul? Yeah, quite a disturbing um, attack indeed, uh, quite daring. That's how it is being described uh, in other parts because uh, the, the defense minister's uh, uh, you know, compound is not far from the green zone, which is well fortified, uh, lots of uh, international security protection uh, that is still in place, uh, probably which explains why the response was so quick. Uh, and they say that this was a suicide attack and four of those that uh, are thought to have been behind the attack um, were, were killed uh, in the process of trying to defend it. Now, it, it simply means if uh, now the Taliban is, I'm just hearing, I need to confirm that, but I'm just hearing now um, that the Taliban are saying they uh, were responsible for that for that attack, and also uh, saying that their strategy now will also be to go uh, for uh, the, the 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 government, the top government uh, officials, the decision making people. So that I think um, what we can read is that the situation is escalating, trying to put pressure on those at the top, uh, and it will be worrying because that's not according to the rules of war. You don't target. Uh, leadership. You, you, you target military um, infrastructure if that's what you are uh, having to deal with. So this is an escalation, definitely. All right, Tam, we know that Kabul is not the only target. Talk to us about the other fightings in other provinces. Yeah, um, so fighting in the north, uh, fighting in the west, Herat, fighting in the south, um, Lashkaga, Kandahar, these, these places, what we are being told is quite disturbing. Uh, human rights organizations saying that there are so many civilians caught up in the middle, uh, so many people that are dying, some even talking about bodies on the streets. Uh, so difficult uh, is the situation there and the fighting uh, that has gone into street fighting now, that the UN Security Council is now talking about uh, trying to address the situation. Of course, the U.S., they're being pressed on what they can do, but simply saying, well, it is uh, the Afghan uh, government that has to defend its own country, but uh, the U.S. will only support in terms of airstrikes. Difficult, but it appears that the Taliban are gaining uh, ground almost every part uh, of Afghanistan. Okay, Tam, what are the likely impl implications of all of this? 
I think if it is true that they are now targeting leaders uh, like the defense minister and other ministers and government, that will be putting pressure on those um, that have to protect their lives to try and negotiate. And maybe we might see uh, the, the, the negotiations in, in Doha being uh, escalated. Or it might well be that the Americans need to change strategy. But how, for how long? I mean, the Taliban are already controlling most of the country now. Do you want to go back in? Uh, I don't see the Americans doing that. So it might probably uh, lead to uh, quicker negotiations, uh, probably a quicker solution uh, that is not military. Well, I want to say many thanks to you, Tom. He's been monitoring the situation in Afghanistan.